You know, fundamentals of Islam. Yes. What is your take on what you learned so far? My most interesting takeaway so far has been um, that Islam is a religion for intellectuals. Um, and that really appeals to me as a person who considers himself an intellectual who's trying to navigate religion. Belongs the universe so beautiful. The planet stars go floating past, obeying his will. To Allah belongs the earth and sky so wonderful. Oh, the oceans where the mountains have the animals. Looking at the sky, so many million miles over space and time, there is only one girl. From a tree top, watch the sun start through a dew drop, there is only one girl. There is only one girl. Praise be to my life. Okay, good, good, wonderful. Let me give you a couple of brochures here. Yeah. Um, so really quickly, we believe in absolute monotheism. Mm -hmm. So we believe that there is only one God, the God of Abraham, Moses, Jesus, all the prophets. And we say for God's love of humanity, He wants to guide humanity. So He appointed from the people, messengers and prophets. So we take Jesus to be as a prophet, He did miracles, we take Moses, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac. They all came, we say, with one faith which is the faith to invite people to submit to one God. In Arabic, that is Islam. Okay? To Allah belong the jinn, the angels and all oh men From fear if I purest life and cut to Allah belong the messengers sent to God for every nation those who came all they tried to bring back the light guide through the night make everything right there is only one God Muhammad the last Given the test, peace do we ask There is only one guy And Rahim Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah Alhamdulillah so we are here at the Skoki Festival of Cultures Alhamdulillah there were many people, hundreds of people and many of our youth, mashallah, from the local masjid, other masajis, they came here to volunteer. So first and foremost, Jazakallah wa khairan, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of you with the best in this world and Jannat al-Firdaus in the hereafter. Right? Ameen. So if I'm going to ask you the question, guys, uh, what made you guys to come here? The weather is good. You guys could be playing basketball at MEC. Why are you here? Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's all right. here. Uh, keep it very close to you. The main reason we're out here today is to spread the word about Islam and to like talk to people, maybe lead them on the right path towards Islam to get closer to Allah. Okay, so suppose if someone asks you the question that they believe Jesus to be God, son of God, and they ask you the question, what do uh, Muslims believe about Jesus, what would you say? You know the answer, you're raising your hand. Yeah, okay. Um, I would say that we believe that Jesus uh, is the messenger or, and uh, prophet. And uh, Jesus cannot be the Son of God because even in the Bible, like it's mentioned that there's no mention that He is the Son of God. Yes, that's very important, right? So even in the Bible, Jesus never said that I am God or worship me. So when people, when they started to elevate Jesus and started to worship Him uh, and uh, form a new faith around the person of Jesus, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the final book which is the Quran with the final messenger to correct the people and to let people know who Jesus was, the actual messenger and a prophet of Allah. Alright, so there are so many youth out there who may not be involved in activism and sharing the message. If they are listening to this video, how would you motivate them? What would you say so they can also come and volunteer in similar boats? What would you say? Well, I would say uh, at least come come to see your brothers here uh, spreading the message 
and stay with the community uh, so you'll know the brothers and you can uh, even non-Muslims so you can convey the message to the non-Muslims show how the brotherhood in Islam is how the uh, environment uh, how it changes us how to how it guides us so we can say to other youth you guys can say to other youth you know come and volunteer so you can inshallah show to our non-muslim brothers and sisters that Islam is a wonderful faith it gives you discipline and guidance and give you purpose in life and give you success here and in the hereafter okay Josefa question for you all right uh, here is a quiz question for you can you recite one ayah from the Quran that encourages people to share the message of Islam what would you say uh, Okay, lastly, anyone can say anything, right? Uh, suppose if there are like thousands of non-Muslims listening to this video, what would you say to them? They may have so many misconceptions. Tell us like in one, like 30 seconds, what would you say to them? Um, so I'd say for most non-believers, I feel, I, I feel like for most non-believers, they're kind of scared to step forward and learn more about it. But um, in fact, it, everybody's welcome in Islam. Everybody can just step forward, come to a mosque, ask about it. And every, most of the people are going to have answers for you um, about any of your questions and misconceptions. Yeah, one more thing about the previous question about um, what you would say to a non-Muslim. Uh, I think one thing is um, bringing up the challenge that if whatever you heard on the media, um, on social media, the news or whatever, I would say put all that to the side. And it's a challenge to, I guess, look at the Quran with an unbiased point of view and just read it uh, for how it is. Okay, Bismillah. So we are here in the Skokie Festival of Culture. So, you know, awesome weather compared to yesterday. Yeah, right? So, good. so we have many, many booths over here, cultural events to educate our fellow Americans like Amber who came here. Amber, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Uh, so what brought you here and uh, you stood here for about maybe 20 minutes? Yes. <laughs> Tell me why. Well, I'm just drawn to um, learning about different religions mm -hmm. as much as I can. Um, and I was really interested. This is the most anyone's ever taken to, to educate me about. And you have a bag in uh, with you. Or what is that? What I do you do. have inside? I have a copy of the Quran in here and some paperwork explaining all sorts of different things mm -hmm. um, so I can learn about the religion. All the spiritual goodies yes. for you, right? For coming here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, we explained to you some brief, you know, fundamentals of Islam. Yes. What is your take on what you learned so far? My most interesting takeaway so far has been um, that Islam is a religion for intellectuals. Um, and that really appeals to me as a person who considers himself an intellectual who's trying to navigate religion. Yes, because, you know, as I mentioned to you, we cannot, because God gave us the best gift, which is a gift of our mind, mm -hmm. thinking ability. Animals don't have that. We do, right? Mm -hmm. So a faith, uh, a mark of a true faith should not be just because we are born into that faith. Yes. We have to think and research and, you know, investigate. Should and, make a conscious choice. Yes, and God has so many signs. Yes. Yeah. So do you think a, a booth like this to educate people, especially about the misconceptions, is a good idea? What do you say? I do. I think anyone whose heart is open to it is going to find their way here and they're going to really listen. And those are the people you want to reach anyway. Just like yourself. <laughs> So I would say you're so fortunate that God brought you over here yes. and God gave me and him and the volunteers opportunity yes. so they can learn about Islam and we are not pushing any faith over here. We are educating people so we can do away with the misconceptions so people can see the commonality. Yes. Building on the commonality, we want to make better societies. Hope yes. you agree with that. Agreed. <laughs> so again, Amber, thanks for coming over here. Thank you. And uh, you're welcome to come here any more time. You know, they are writing uh, the name in Arabic if you want. Oh, wow, that's You great. can get your name, you know. There are no customers right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go for it. So thanks for coming. May God guide you and may God bless you, Amber. Thank you. Okay. Repeat that you're the greatest to prove we only wish to be in your good graces. To our land belongs everything I call my own. The heart within my body's home, my very soul. To all I pray, my every day lived in His name, and that I someday will reach the place where peace prevails. 
There is only one God. 